Lula, the president of Brazil, is following through on his promise to combat deforestation and protect the Amazon. How about that? A politician following through on what they said they were going to do. Lula is filling out his cabinet with officials who will take up his call to action on defending mother nature. Brazil's president elect Lula announced Thursday, yes he did, that Amazon activist Marina Silva will be the country's next minister of environment. The announcement indicates the new administration will prioritize cracking down on illegal deforestation, even if it means running afoul of powerful agribusiness interest. You better go ahead on president-elect. And here is some more background on Silva, who served in the same role from 2003 to 2010 in Lula's first term. And environment minister, she, or excuse me, as environment minister, she oversaw the creation of dozens of conservation areas and a sophisticated strategy against deforestation with major operations against environmental criminals and new satellite surveillance. She also helped design the largest international effort to preserve rainforests, the mostly Norway backed Amazon fund. Deforestation dropped dramatically. But Silva wasn't the only progressive cabinet member that Lula assigned a leadership role. Let's look at who else he assigned. Lula also named Sonia. Sonia, I'm not going to mess up your last name, baby. An indigenous woman as Brazil's first minister of indigenous peoples. And Carlos Favaro, a soybean producer as agriculture minister. President-elect, you better do that. Conversely, Lula committed to prosecuting all crimes in the forest from illegal logging to mining. He also said he would press rich countries to make good on promises to help developing nations adapt to climate change. That report is coming from the Associated Press. I like to call it climate chaos. But yeah, this is such good news. Yeah, I love this story. You know, how often do we actually get a good story? How often do we see politicians following through on their promises, at least as best as they can? And how often do we see actual meritocracy at work? It's amazing. You know, we all know that the Amazon is suffering and it is heartbreaking. You know, I cried when they cut down the trees behind my house. So seeing what's been going on with the Amazon has been especially difficult to watch. The Amazon is dying, it's unfathomable, but thankfully we have someone in charge down there now who actually cares about the environment, is actually forward thinking, and is actually cognizant of the fact that the state of the Amazon has repercussions on the climate around the entire planet. This feels like a small but very critical win in a fight against fossil fuel companies. And it has felt so futile at times. This is a big deal. People have existential anxiety over the state of our planet. Most of us want to live in a beautiful, clean and thriving place. We want other people to have the same experience, but a handful of greedy politicians and CEOs are ruining it for everyone. Not to mention our plant life and our wildlife. I will gladly take this win and I hope for many more similar wins in the future. I wish them the best because they have a lot of work ahead of them. Yeah, they do. And to see a president elect saying that he's also going to tap into other of his colleagues around the world shows he understands the use of power and how important it is to deal with climate chaos. And it is important to note that the importance of rainforest and Yasmin did some of that protecting them. Rainforest helped to, let's put this up so you can see it, stabilize the world's climate, provide homes to many plant and animals, maintain the water cycle, protect against food, or excuse me, protect against flood, drought and erosion, source for medicine and food and support tribal people. Hello, somebody on that. Good on you, President-elect Lula, good on you. 